Transition. No mosque, not here, not now, not ever. In lower Manhattan, protesters vowed to stop the Islamic Cultural Center planned just two blocks north of Ground Zero. If they put a mosque up right here in the shadow of the World Trade Center before we finish building it back up, what's next? Muslims are welcome here. A block away, a smaller crowd of supporters. How far away is okay? A mile away, two miles? Caught in the middle are Muslim Americans, including some who are 9-11 families. Don't they realize that this is bigotry? Talat Hamdani's son, Muhammad, died that day rescuing others. To scapegoat on the Muslim Americans for the acts of foreign terrorists is equivalent to scapegoating upon all Christians for the acts of Timothy McVeigh. 30 years ago, Netta Balerchi's family immigrated from Iran to California. To us, it is the gravesite of our loved ones. Her mother, Turi, was a passenger on the second plane to hit the Twin Towers. Please, not here. Nowhere, as a part of your religious freedom, does it guarantee you a location. Ironically, the location has been used as a mosque for months, while the new building would not even be visible from ground zero. Proximity is what's at issue here. While the proposed Islamic Cultural Center is two and a half blocks away from where the Twin Towers fell, World Trade Center 7, which also fell and is now then rebuilt, is right here. When it comes to this imam, there isn't a place far enough. The imam behind the project is Kuwaiti-born Faisal Abdul Rauf. He has run a mosque in Lower Manhattan for 27 years. He spoke today while overseas on a State Department tour promoting religious tolerance. It is my fervent prayer and hope that, uh, that people will understand more. His friends consider him a leader of interfaith outreach. Samir Salmanovich, a Christian pastor, has known Ralph for 10 years. His goal is to be part of the community and be part of subhumanity, not to, you know, make people Muslims or, or conquer anything. But that has become a hard sell for a project that's fueled divisions but almost no money. Fundraising for the $100 million budget has yet to begin. Michelle Miller, CBS News, New York.